but getting back to this game that I never left. Hello? Hello, Simple? Yeah, that's my name, man. What's happening with it? Oh, man, long time listener, long time listener. I'm just so happy I was able to get in to reach you, brother. Oh, man, I'm glad that you sit up there, and especially my long time listeners, man. What's going on, fam? Brother, I just, I just want to admit something to the people, man. I, I look, uh, at the end of the day, I'm a trick. Uh, okay. I love being a trick. I don't mind. I, I, I just, I, I don't have the patience to, to really kind of get to know a woman and ask her questions. And uh, I just, I just really want to put that, that you know, Benjamin on the table and just get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like as I go into my thirties. I'm having a bit of trouble, like, finding younger prospects, like, younger women who I can, you know, uh, propose my, my, <clears throat> my offer to and get them to, you know, to do what I want them to do. Um, obviously, I'm always on the lookout for women who have a need, right? I mean, who look like they have a need for, for, the, for some paper and whatnot, but how do I... Gosh, what's my what's my work? My question is, how do I find women I want without without necessarily going for like a real broke down? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do I find a woman who can who needs some money, but she ain't got to be like you know real ran down? You know? Are you are you saying are you looking for um, a woman of the game, or are you talking about finding you a nice, attractive woman to have as your woman? That you can spend money on and be a good man to, and she ain't run down. She got her shit together and all that type of shit to find you a good woman to get you tricking on with. I think for right now, that's the thing. I I want somebody who, because I don't think I'm there yet where I want to be permanent with somebody. So I just really want somebody who's not necessarily in the game, but she would definitely be a prospect for you. You feel me? Somebody who would be a prospect for you. But she's not there yet, and I can I can I can find her first, and maybe I can spend some time with her, and maybe if you take her off my hands, fine. You know, somebody like you, I'm saying, take her off my hands, fine. But somebody who's a prospect for for a P, you know what I'm saying? Not not necessarily somebody who's in the game. Well, see, our positions is a, a little more different, and I love your position, and I respect you because a lot a lot of people don't understand that. It's a blessing to be in a position of a trick. Somebody told me to hang up on you, and I didn't understand that because if it don't be for the tricking, how to pimp do some pimping, how to hoe do some hoeing without a trick tricking. And then, at the same time, how a trick doing some tricking if ain't no prosperity going on. A lot of individuals in my comment section, it's not that they don't want a trick. It's just that they're not in position to trick. They ain't got no money. So how they going to trick? So it's a blessing to be able to do what you want to do, and I'm just happy that that's what you want to do. Now, as far as you know, uh, you know, finding whatever you desire uh, to find, you know, when you go look for a woman, let me ask you a question: When you go to go pay for something or go do whatever, what are the places that you go to go look at? Because if you finding some old rundown that look like the world and had his way with. You know, then I would have to ask you, where have you been looking? Where are you at with it? Because you need to change your locations <clears throat> and you need to be putting in your applications in other places. You're right. You're right about that. I mean, because, I appreciate because, what you said about tricking and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, you but, know. The hold on, let me say this. The that's dollar just like, stores. That's just like, hold on. The Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? That's, that's always a nice little spot to hang out at. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always just kind of, I don't know, like, the, you know, not necessarily in the gas station, but around it. Uh, uh, the beauty supply store, right, outside the beauty supply, I mean, that's always a good place, to, you know, where I prospect. Uh, you know, just places where women would, would spend a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying? And, and always looking for, you know, if I can give some one-on-one -on -one time to approach it. And make my offer, but yeah, the the dollar stores. You know, the dollar stores in the hood is always with a with a you know, with a honey bee at a lot of times. With the beauty supply, uh, man, what else? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, the parks. Uh, park, I, I, back in the day, I used to really get up the parks, but now it's, it's more, you know, now bitches ain't really even going to the park no more. So Let me say this to you. If you a man and you looking for some women uh, that are of quality and you want to spend your currency on a quality woman or women, then that means that you can't be just going to these little ordinary, you know, places that you will find any little rinky dink ass bitch at. You know, you need to be hitting spots like the gym. You need to be hitting spots like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. You know what I mean? Hoes come up in there. Prostitutes come in there. Strippers come up in there. Squares that got good potential come up in there. And these are good quality, you know, type of women. Skin is beautiful. When you want a good quality, you know, woman or women, you go to areas where you can see that. You know, you can actually find you an attractive woman who ain't ran down, that ain't missing teeth, you know what I mean, that ain't basically sitting over there breath stanking, that ain't smelling like 86, you know, when she opened up her mouth, you know what I mean? She look like she smelled like she just sucked the wrong dick raw. You know, you mm. can go, go to sp- uh, places where you could actually see, you know, beautiful women. And if I was in your position doing what you do, yeah, I'd be at the gym. I'd be at Whole Foods. Mm. I'd be at Trader Joe's. Now, here's the thing, though, Simple. Huh? I appreciate the information, but is the financial need there for, with, with, because my thing is, at the end of the day, they gotta need you, right? I mean, they got they gotta need what, they do what, need. what I have to offer. No. So I'm thinking like a lot. We got a lot of these honeys, you know. They 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 went, you know, they got a little education at the community college or something like that. She got a good, you know. Does my my little, you know, uh, as y'all know what the going rates are? Is that enough for her, or is this going to be a situation where I'm going to have to put out more? But, but listen to what I'm saying. The places that I just named, they do need you. You talking about the damn Ooh. dollar store. Why do you think just because a woman is at Whole Foods that she don't need you? Why do you think Ooh. Ooh. if she at the gym working out that she don't need you? I know a lot of women with beautiful appearances and got low self-esteem like a motherfucker. I, got, I know some uh, women, you know what I mean, that's in Whole Foods. And they got some of the best bodies that God has ever made, and they still think they fat as f- So wow. why why wouldn't it? And then you got certain ones, you know, they just live it off of, of an allowance of a sugar daddy or some little piece of a trick, and they take that and go to Whole Foods because they just like eating organic. So just because she's at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or Walmart or on Facebook or wherever, what you mean she don't need you? Aren't you a man? A woman is in right, need right. of a man. So what you mean she don't no, need you? You you you're right. You're and right. even hold on. And even and I, even, I, I you know when it comes to women of a bit of class, I do get a little bit intimidated because I'm a, I'm slightly embarrassed about what I do when it comes to women, like women knowing what I'm doing. Right? I don't really give a damn you know, what men think. But mm-hmm. women do, you know. I mean, I do sometimes feel like, okay, is she a rat? Like, I don't really don't give a fuck what she thinks. But if it's a woman of class, I feel a bit intimidated in my approach. But I have to improve. I know, I know myself. I've got to improve that because if I'm really going to step up the quality experiences that I'm paying for, then it's going to take me really, you know, uh, being bolder with 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 the kind of women I approach. Yeah, you're right about that. Right. But see, yeah. the the thing is this. Just because you're not a P, just because you're not in the game, that don't mean that you don't have game. You have knowledge pertaining to a lot of things that women are ignorant of. So your mind, the information that you have, and you being financially blessed in certain areas, you are a necessity to a woman. A woman will always need you. So don't think just because she's driving this or she's over here or works there 
or shopping here that she doesn't need you because there's a lot of women that's making money and still need your money, you know. And then there's a lot of women, you know what I mean, who uh, basically they, you know, on an elite level or whatever, but they might find you attractive. You won't know until you make yourself available. So just like I tell the young peas to make they self available, I'm talking to the tricks as well. You got to make yourself available. If you want to, if you want what you want, you got to make yourself available. And there's no type of justification for why you don't have what you want, especially with the internet. You have an internet that's going to f*** with you. You got, you understand me, places that's going to go where quality women are going in and out of. I just named some of them. Can't give y'all all, all the motherfucking places. But at the same particular time, these are places you're going to catch quality women. So if you don't want a woman that's run down and you want to pay, you know what I mean, for something that's, you know, exclusive. And, you know, my, that exclusive going to be a little bit more expensive. But if that's going to keep you away from sexually transmitted diseases and bitches that's truthless and toothless, then by all means, you know what I mean, be a little more expensive and get you an exclusive. Right. No, you right. You right about that. You right about that, man. Good game as always, but I've I've been learning so much about you know all the the tactics, the, you know. And like I said, I, I don't I don't have the courage to be a P. I, I don't. I really don't. Uh, but That's I do blessing. have uh, the income necessary that allows me to to be in the field, man. I I, I just appreciate what you guys do uh, for the community. I mean, really. Uh, a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, y'all are really like the the economy, you know, of the community. You guys are bringing income to people who otherwise wouldn't, wouldn't get, wouldn't be in the position to be, to do anything. You know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of people don't really understand that. I, 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 that's why I really love, enjoy watching you because I get to really be around people who understand that we're, we're doing a huge favor out here. We're doing a lot of women a huge favor out here. Be allowing them to put food on the table, you know, gifts under the tree. Uh, P, you, 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 you know, like I said, people they don't know. And I, I, I've, I've, I've been, the, I've been the brother who, who, you know, saved the day on, for Christmas time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who, who came through the night before Thanksgiving with, with what she needed. You know what I'm saying? I've been that dude. Uh, a lot of women out here are raising two, three children by themselves. Fine. Beautiful women, young women, beautiful, uh, but they just have a need, and and I have a need, and uh, we find together uh, that we make a good team, and uh, Bro, it, it's just good to be able to have someone. To, I appreciate to, you, know, you and and let me say this also: if it had not been for you, some of the peas in the game were game bangers. Some of them, you know, wasn't academically successful. Some of them didn't have financial success in other lanes within the streets. So if it had not been for the game being a blessing to them, they would have met their demise a long time ago. Oh, so, absolutely. So, absolutely. The, so absolutely. the success that they obtained in the game was only because of the trick, only because the population of the clients that we have the giants in the game that we have that's why i never understood when certain people was like the trick because the trick is a part of the game so i appreciate you and others who are in a position who have that in possession to be a blessing to the game so without you guys the pimps couldn't even live like kings the hoes couldn't live like queens and not just that we couldn't be able to provide a service for you guys, you know what I mean, to keep you, you know what I mean, going on about your day because, you know, a lot of you, because of the game, you don't have to put on an Oscar award performance as if you love a woman uh, because of the whole basically providing a service. You don't have to rape anybody. You don't have to go out there and get on drugs and because you feel like a loner, you feel suicidal. And you feel like you want to just kill everybody in the world because you don't feel loved. You don't have to do that. Why? Because not only do you receive fornication from this woman, 
But when she really has game, and you tricks know what I'm talking about, when a woman really has been laced right and got some good game, you can sit down with a hoe and she can give you consultation. You can sit oh, down yeah. with a hoe and you can tell her about your problems and she can give you medication, you know what I mean, through Absolutely. this game and be a blessing to you when you're really talking to a real hoe. Some of you had a lot of problems within your marriage and after talking to a woman in the game and you talked about the problem, she was able to minister to you and you felt better. Some of you don't even know. If it had not been for hoes, a lot of marriages would have ran to divorce. But because God used that hoe or the game used that hoe, the hoe had to sit up there and say, you got children with this woman. You know, and as much as, you know, I mean, you're saying what you're saying right now, you know, at one time you was happy with this woman. You thought you was in love with this woman. You got children with this woman. So if you guys part ways, think of how that's going to affect the children. You know, I know what it's like, you know, for my father to walk out of my life simply when the mother, uh, my mother and my father had discord. The hope began to tell him that and he began to listen to the hope. So, man, this game has been blessed, uh, been a blessing in so many ways that you guys can't even fathom and your comprehension can't even understand how hoes have been a blessing, you know what I mean, to the pimping and also to the tricking, how hoes have just been a blessing to this motherfucking world. You know, shout out to the hoes. Blessings to the hoes, man. You know what I mean? God, keep being merciful to the hoes. Keep being loving and long-suffering, you know, to the hoes. When the enemy be begging for the life and souls of the hoes, Lord, keep being merciful and long-suffering to the hoes because the calling on that hoes life is much greater than any mistake that this hoe has ever made. Track is about to be hot. The women about to be out there with, you know, very little clothing. My favorite time of the year is being the hood Santa Claus that I am. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, man, them, them, them light bills are going to be running up, see? They're going to be running <laughs> up, see? And, and, and men like me, you know, that's, 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 that's where I'm, I, I, you know, I become the LeBron James. Man. I become the LeBron James of the community, man. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not a millionaire, but I, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, 100000 a year in the hood it makes you feel like a millionaire. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep doing what y'all are doing. Uh, keep putting out the, the amazing supply. I love all the different flavors. Uh, so, yeah, man, I, I don't want to keep you, you know, uh, going with your thoughts on me, but uh, I appreciate the content, brother, and I continue supporting you with like appreciate. I appreciate you for calling in. You were such a blessing, man. Love, bro. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.